Welcome to Biology 106, Making Sense of Microbiotic Me. I'm Teresa Rich, and uh, this is a tour of the Blackboard site for this semester. Every semester I tweak things a little bit, so I wanted to show you where you can find everything. So when you click on the course, you'll come to this announcements page, and you'll want to check that frequently because I'll be posting, well, announcements things that we're doing for the week, anything that's important to consider, whether we're having a snow day in case you have face-to-face -face classes, that sort of thing. So next on our tour is if you look over in this red box, there are tabs that will take you to general areas. So for example, if you click on faculty information, you'll see a picture of me. You'll find out where my office is, where you can find me, other fun stuff. Uh, if we click on syllabus schedule first thing you'll see is a detailed schedule for this class I would consult that frequently if we have any changes to what we're doing for the semester I'll change it here down below that you'll find the syllabus for this semester for this course make sure you read through that for this uh, for the first uh, topic you will be taking a syllabus quiz so that I can make sure that you've read through it and you know what you're getting into. And then we also have CWI's institutional syllabus. This has information that's applicable to any class that you take at CWI. So make sure that you read through that. Now, down below that, I have assignments. First thing in assignments is not really an assignment, but a discussion board where you can ask questions of me that are not of a personal nature. If you have a question about your grades or something like that, that um, by law I can't uh, tell anybody but you, um, then you need to email me. But for any other question, you can go to the Ask the Instructor discussion board, post your questions, and I'll get to it within the day. Now below that I have a banner for the first unit, which is getting to know your microbial dependence. And right now I have the first week's information up, which I'm calling Topic 1. This part will let you know in general what we're covering that week and what the goals for that week are. Now if I click on that, then, uh, let's get rid of this, then you will see off to the side here there is a menu that shows you everything that's in this folder. Now I can click on each of the items if I want to go directly to something. Suppose I want to go to this particular video or let's go back to the beginning. I can scroll through these individually in the order that I put them in. I've put them in the order that I think best suits learning. So from here down well this first one is a general overview of what you'll need to do what assignments are due, what your uh, video and reading assignments are, and then after that we get into the material that in a face-to-face -face class would be considered the lecture and other materials to help you understand the topic for the week. Now you'll notice I have here um, beginning of assignments. So if you go to that, this is a banner to let you know that we're starting into graded assignments. So the first thing is the syllabus quiz. So make sure you read through the syllabus. Now you can take the quizzes as many times as you want. Blackboard will take the highest score, but the quizzes will disappear after the due date. So no late assignments. I do allow and the some next thing, thing I have, have some a assignments discussion board that allow you to make so points if you do miss that an assignment. That one has two due dates, and I have I want you that to in put the in a syllabus, picture of yourself, tell us something uh, about yourself, and so uh, that I and your classmates details. can get to know you, and check the detailed schedule to see when that is due, and then I also want you to comment on other people's initial posts. That lets me know that you've read through the other people's, you know, the other people's introductory posts, that you've made an effort to get to know your classmates. And I will be posting one for myself so you can get to know me better. And then we have what I call topic activities. So for each topic, 
you will be doing something and it's a way for you to learn the material. Now at this point I don't expect you to have it perfectly so what I'm looking at is to see what you're having a hard time with, what you're struggling with. So I'll give you full points for completing the assignment. Doesn't matter if you got the answers right or not. After the due date this will disappear and in its place I'll have the answers. So you can go through see how you did. Now the last thing that I have for points for this week is what I call a comprehension quiz. For each topic I will have a quiz like the syllabus quiz you can take it as many times as you want before the due date and Blackboard will take the highest points but basically it goes over the material and quizzes you on it and this also helps you learn it. It gives you an idea of what I'm going to ask you on the exams. There's a uh, course evaluation tab, I'll be reminding you of that later on in the semester. There's my grades and that's where you're going to find your grades and also my comments on your various assorted assignments. Student resources, this is a wonderful tab to take a look at. There's all sorts of tutoring things, how to schedule a test, all sorts of things that will help you out as you take classes at CWI. Let's go back up to syllabus schedule and let's talk about the schedule briefly. So I'm going to open this up in a new tab so you can see it easier. The main thing that I want to point out, I will have in the detailed schedule what videos and what reading you're going to have. Now I expect that you're going to read through that at the beginning of the week. Make sure you read through that before you go into the assignments. The assignments are always due on Wednesdays and Fridays. And that's so that it breaks up the assignments so that they're not due all in one big clump. Well, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any questions. That's what I'm here for. I love answering questions.